I've got a lot of questions, so stay tuned. I'm going to explain it all. I'm going to go to Sally's to look for hair dye. So I'm going to look for it here in Walmart and see if I can find the kind that I like. Um, uh oh, sorry. Your supply is limited. This is what I want. Let, let it. Okay. Hey family, well it's Sunday afternoon and I came to get my hair cut. I know this is going to come to as a surprise to a lot of people. I just did um, a video about my lock journey. I love my locks, you guys. I absolutely love them. But my husband and I really took a look at my hair and there are so many places that are thinning really, really badly. I just don't feel like um, it's worth damaging my hair more the more i get it twisted the longer i wait it's just going to make it worse i don't want to be one of those people that have a lot of locks in the top and the middle and nothing around the edges and i don't want to cause worse damage to my hair so i have decided to cut the locks off and start over i don't know if i'm going to start over with locks at this point uh, I need to get my hair thick and conditioned and think about if locks are the best for my hair. I love them. I love the freedom of them. I hated to cut them. I come almost two years with them. But I just kept looking at those thinning locks. What do I do? What do I do? And I decided to cut them off. So I wanted to share the process of cutting them. Here, um, my friend, Nicole, she's been a hairstylist for many years. She is asking me, am I sure? You know, just really being sure of if this is what I want to do. She hated to cut them just like I did, but we had to do it. Um, and it's just hair. It'll grow back, and you guys will get to watch that journey, too, so... Ah, here we go. So here's what it looked after she cut it. Um, she just, I just wanted her to even it up all the way around. I think it looks really good. I really like it. I'm feeling it. I can't wait to go home and color it up. I wanted you guys to see what it looked like all the way around. Excuse what the hair looks like. It's got a lot of lit and stuff in it from those locks. I've got to go home and wash it and condition it 
um, I'm gonna dye it first and then I'm gonna wash it and condition it really good. So I also share the products that I'm using when I get home. I didn't have Vaseline, so I grabbed some Poly Spirit and I am going to use that to protect my edges, my ears and stuff like that. I just wanna make sure if anything drops, it doesn't burn my skin. And since I didn't have any Vaseline, that was the next best thing. I mixed the dye uh, probably about 30 minutes ago, so I didn't show you that part. I did not add the color booster, which is what really lightens it up to like a blonde. I was afraid that my hair would get too brassy um, or too bright or too orangey. I think I'm just going to take it up in levels. So what I'm looking for today is like a light brown. I just want to take my hair up in levels and let it get lighter as I continue to dye it. Um, so I'm just applying the dye all over my head. It's been a while since I did it. You see I got some on the floor, but this one bottle will do it. I just need to make sure that my hair is completely saturated and that I get everything. I hate to see somebody with dye, dye but their edges didn't get dyed. So I want to make sure that I get all the edges all the way around um, and completely saturate my hair. So now that my hair is completely saturated and I've wiped off any excess dye, I'm going to go ahead and put a shower cap on my head. I bought the shower cap just to dye my hair because um, I didn't want to use my regular shower cap. Let me show you what products I'll be using. I've got some clips um, to hold my hair down, some long ones, just in case I want to do a style. I got a comb and a dimming brush for to uh, help manage my hair. I got some Eco Styling Gel. My hair has always loved the Eco Styling Gel. I, I like Shea Moisture Shampoo. I found this Coconut Custard Make It Last Wash and Go Shampoo. I, that really interests me. I've never used it before, but I'm hoping it's helped with help it with my hair on the go this is the cream of nature leave-in conditioner i like that it's a spray so i can manage it and know how much i put and then i heard great things about this product the myel pomegranate and honey so i'm gonna try the twisting souffle not sure if i'm gonna do all of this tonight because it's about 10 or 11 o'clock but those are the products that i'm gonna use Okay, so this is what it's looking like. I think I'm going to stop here. I like this color. I'm really liking this color. So I'm going to jump in the shower, you guys, and we'll see what it really looks like after I shampoo it. I don't have to party to have fun, you see. I got different hobbies, and that's all I need. Some say life is boring, but I disagree I wake up and live my dream Someday soon, I'm gonna make it Yeah, all hard work's gonna be worth it i
looking now Some say I'm too uptight But I disagree I wake up and live my dream Someday soon I'm gonna make it